Thank you, Father God, that your mercies are new every morning. And I thank you for this new day, a new start. Thank you, my Lord, for your patience with us all. God, just flood us with your life again and help us to please you today. Praise you, God. Praise you, Jesus. Praise your Holy Spirit. Amen. The Gospel of John, chapter 13. Before the Passover celebration, Jesus knew that his hour had come to leave this world and return to his Father. He had loved his disciples during his ministry on earth, and now he loved them to the very end. It was time for supper, and the devil had already prompted Judas, son of Iscariot, of Simon Iscariot, to betray, to betray Jesus. To betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything and that he had come from God and would return to God. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. When Jesus came to Simon Peter, Peter said to him, Lord, you're going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You don't understand now what I am doing, but someday you will. No, Peter protested. You will never, ever wash my feet. Jesus replied, Unless I wash you, you won't belong to me. Simon Peter exclaimed, Then wash my hands and head as well, Lord, not just my feet. Jesus replied, A person who has bathed all over does not need to wash except for the feet, to be entirely clean. And you, disciples, are clean, but not all of you, for Jesus knew who would betray him. That is what he meant when he said, not all of you are clean. After washing their feet, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, Do you understand what I was doing? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, because that's what I am. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. I tell you the truth. Slaves are not greater than their master, nor is the messenger more important than the one who sends the message. Now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing them. I am not saying these things to all of you. I know the ones I have chosen, but this fulfills the scripture that says, that says, the one who eats my food has turned against me. I tell you this beforehand, so that when it happens you will believe that I am the Messiah. I tell you the truth, anyone who welcomes my messenger is welcoming me, and anyone who welcomes me is welcoming the Father who sent me. Now Jesus was deeply troubled, and he exclaimed, I tell you the truth. One of you will betray me. The disciples looked at each other, wondering whom he could mean. The disciple Jesus loved was sitting next to Jesus at the, temp at the table. Simon Peter motioned to him to ask, Who is he talking about? So that disciple leaned over to Jesus and asked, Lord, who is it? Jesus responded, It is the one to whom I give the, bre give the bread I dip in the bowl. 
and when he had dipped it, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. When Judas had eaten the bread, Satan entered him, entered into him. Then Jesus, then Jesus told him, hurry and do what you are going to do. None of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant. Since Judas was their treasurer, some thought Jesus was telling him to go and pay for the food or to give some money to the poor. So Judas left at once, going out into the night. As soon as Judas left the room, Jesus said, The time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory and will be glorified because of him, and God will be glorified because of him. And since God receives glory because of the Son, he will soon give glory to the Son. Dear children, I will be with you only a little longer. And as I told the Jewish leaders, you will search for me, but you can't come where I am going. So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Simon Peter asked, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus replied, You can't go with me now, but you will follow me later. But why can't I come now, Lord? he asked. I am ready to die for you. Jesus answered, Die for me? I tell you the truth, Peter. Before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even know me. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for that example that you give us, that you, the Master, serve your disciples by washing their feet. And I pray that we wouldn't see service as below us or demeaning. Help us to see service as a compassionate and loving and humble thing to do. I pray that each day you would give us opportunities to serve, to give of ourselves to others. Give us that love that you have, Jesus, where you just automatically want to be a help to others. Help us to be blessed as we do those things, as we obey you. Thank you, my Lord, in your precious, wonderful name. I pray. Amen.